only exclusive video showing a violent fight at a South Florida high school that left one student stabbed. And tonight, that 18 year old victim is talking exclusively with Local 10. This as the 15 year old accused of wielding the knife sits in jail. Local 10 News reporter Andrew Perez is live in Hialeah with our top story at 11. Andrew. That's right, Lori Calvin. Police say that this team had an exacto knife just like this. I mean, take a look. These things are incredibly sharp. They're commonly used in arts and crafts projects. They say that this team was holding it in his hand like this in the middle of a fight, a fight that was caught on cell phone video. Students are recording this bathroom brawl and things quickly escalate. Take a very close look. That's an exacto knife in the hands of a freshman at Westland Hialeah Senior High. You can see him move in trying to get a hit. 18 year old Giovanni Pavone says that knife narrowly missed his eyes and face. That's not necessary whatsoever once in school, especially in school grounds. That does have to make no sense whatsoever. Pavone says he met the freshman in the school's bathroom to settle a petty dispute, but never expected this. Thanks God I reacted quicker, no? He would have yeah, been stuff a lot more yeah, stuff back. He was stabbed in the chest and arm. You see him here bleeding as other classmates rush in to break up the fight. Pavone was taken to Palmetto General to be treated for his injuries as police arrested the 15 year old student. A public defender tried to get him released on home detention, but no luck. Due to the nature of the charges at this time, I understand it is a first offense. I am going to keep him in secure detention. What the? The incident comes as video surfaces of another fight at the same school. One student with a mask punches another repeatedly here. The issue very concerning for area parents. Giovanni telling us he just wants his attacker to get help. Now we're not identifying that 15 year old arrested just yet because of his age. He's charged with aggravated battery though and does remain in custody. Prosecutors still have to decide whether or not they're going to charge him as an adult school officials. They have suspended the two boys involved in that second fight. This investigation is still ongoing. We're live in Hialeah tonight. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News.